Here's a look at your LUTV News online headlines. I'm Steve Kornfeld. Sunnybrook Park neighbors awoke to an early morning fire that broke out about 5 a.m. The owners of the house were not present at the time of the fire. An investigation is underway, but faulty electrical wiring could be the cause. The fire was not reported until the flames were big enough for neighbors to see. The house had been under rehab work, but there has been an estimated $150,000 worth of damage. And Thursday the 11th is Veterans Day. St. Charles will celebrate with a ceremony at 11 on Thursday morning on Bishop's Landing. St. Charles Mayor Patty York and County Executive Steve Ellman will kick off the event with Post-Dispatch columnist Bill McClellan as the guest speaker. Questions about the ceremony can be directed at Tom Cupers at 636-947-1617. And the Linenwood University Symphonic Orchestra hosted its annual fall concert last Thursday. Under the direction of conductor Shane Williams, students played rousing tunes such as the National Anthem and the works of famed composers Rossini, Glazuno, and Beethoven. The concert was the first in a three-day series that also included the Jazz Ensemble and the Voices Only Choir. And in sports, nine different Lindenwood Lions reached the end zone in the 77-33 Senior Day victory over the Graceland Yellow Jackets. LU will travel to William Jewell on Saturday for their last regular season game before the postseason begins. And that was a look at your LU TV online headlines. Thanks for joining us.